Now, it just takes one simple click to upload, but this program has discovered that many of the applications which users are putting on their Android smartphones are sharing their personal data without their permission or even their knowledge. Our research found that popular free apps are, in effect, allowing advertisers to get access to private information from users' phones, things like contacts and photographs. And the European Information Commissioner told us they were breaking the law, as our technology correspondent, Benjamin Cohen, reports. Few of us stop to think about just how much highly private information is stored on our smartphones, intimate photographs, texts and emails to loved ones, who we call and where we go. But now millions of us are downloading applications to run on them, fun and useful little programs that claim to enhance the features of your phone. Some of these applications we found that... But research for Channel 4 News has uncovered just how easy it is for apps on Android phones to access and share our data, and shockingly how advertisers can see our personal information without us even knowing. Probably they know more about you than your wife does. Though it's a very dangerous uh, thing and it is completely against European law. Users can download applications onto their Android phone by going to the app market, which I'm doing now. When you select an application, you're given a list of permissions that you grant the application. For example, to look at your contacts book, uh, access the camera and so on. You have to grant permission to each application in order to install it and then use it. But it's not just the apps you're granting permission to. What have you been able to find in the top 50 applications? We found that a lot of the free applications um, are using advertising inside the applications and that the, the permissions that you grant to these applications is also granted to the advertising. Do you think that the customers will be surprised that by downloading an app they're granting permission to a whole range of companies that they may never have heard of? If users wouldn't know about it, I think they would be concerned about it. But at the moment, um, I don't think they are aware of the situation and how widely their information can be used. The code that Nils found gave advertising networks access to your contacts, calendar and location. It came from a large US ad network called MobClicks. Despite numerous calls and emails from Channel 4 News, the company hasn't explained what it's doing there. So what it's doing in this case is it's sending it to a third party phone. To demonstrate how easy it is to gain access to personal data, we asked a programmer to design this pretty innocuous looking Rick Astley photo app, but it's really stealing my personal data. Oh, so what has it, what has it taken? Okay, so in this case, it's taken your text messages. So these are quite personal text messages. They are, yeah, it's whatever you'll have on your phone. Um, and. And what, and what else, what my call, oh, it looks like it's got my call log and people's names. Exactly, but that's going to depend on what permissions you've given it. Potentially you've given it permissions to your camera, to your media, maybe any data that you have on the phone, and it could be sending that to someone else. And each it may well be that there are lots of apps like this that exist only to steal personal data. Some of these applications we found that the advertisers get an interface. Mm. I took our findings to the Vice President of the European Commission, who is trying to push through continent-wide legislation to reform data protection law. This really concerns me, and uh, this is against the law, uh, because nobody has the right to uh, get your personal data without you agreeing to this. Maybe you want uh, somebody to get this data and you agree, then it's fine. You are an adult and you uh, can do whatever you want, but normally you have no idea what others are doing with your data. They are spotting you, they are following you, they get uh, the information about your friends, about your whereabouts, about your preferences. That is certainly not what you have bought in, uh, what you thought you bought in when you uh, downloaded uh, a free of charge app, didn't you? And that is exactly what we need to change. Google runs the Android system, and it told us that it has best practices for app makers to follow when it comes to users' data, but it doesn't screen applications before they're offered for download. The problem for us users is that it's almost impossible for us to tell how any of the 300,000 Android apps available for download are accessing our data and then potentially selling it on to third parties.